All right, uh, 2015, our annual Dubois to Pinedale trip of a deep snow. This year we have, well, last year we went, um, obviously I was on my Toyota, Mitch was on Jake's Toyota. What year is it, Jake? Uh, it was a 2001. Yeah, it has blo blown the, the motor since then. So Mitch is uh, on the Nissan today. Pretty much stock, uh, 31 inch tire. Jake is, uh, well, it's a, it's a nice one. 1969, right? Yep. 1969 Toyota Land Cruiser. But there's a, a little bit of a, a little bit of a thing on the inside. Open it up, Jake. It's not the in original motor. We have a 350 Chevy, small block. Um, it's carbureted, so that's set up for what, about the uh, 80s yeah. Chevy? Right. Um, so this is the first trip, pretty much breaking it in. Uh, little issues here and there, but uh, so far it's been running like a champ. Now Jake has done over the axle conversion on the, on the rear. Uh, give him a, a little bit additional lift. Running 35 inch tire. Um, drive, drive train is pretty much stock. Well, when it comes to axles. Behind that Chevy there is a NV4500 uh, transmission manual. And um, what else Jake? It has the original transfer case on it, and I done I did the FJ60 power steering swap. Right, and uh, uh, how do you, is there like a <coughs> adapter plate behind behind the transmission to transfer case? Well, I have an updated fail housing that has the slave cylinder on the opposite side, so I can run my front drive shaft. Mm -hmm. Then I have an adapter plate from the transmission to the original transfer case. So it's uh, pretty much um, a work in progress. There's few loose ends to be worked out, and uh, but um, so far we are in beautiful Wind River Mountains, just outside Dubois, starting our our trip. And of course, this is 1996 uh, Toyota Land Cruiser, factory uh, lockers, uh, 35, 35 inch tires. Uh, all the new suspension lift, um, the mild one, I think it's uh, what two and a half inches. Um, it does have a supercharger. So what are we going to do before we get on the snow? Here is the count. Five, four, three, two, one, go. So, first obstacle. It's been pretty windy couple of days, so I guess that old tree could not bear it anymore. second obstacle of the, of the day but we get into uh, to snow so we're going to air down right now everybody air down to for comfort to about 20 psi um, we're going to bring it down well I'm bringing mine down to 10 and we'll see <coughs> if um, 
that will be enough. Of course, uh, those that uh, were watching my videos, my previous videos, know that uh, I'm running the Hutchinson uh, bidlog wheels, so I can comfort comfortably uh, lower it pro probably to um, 5 psi. Um, those Mickey Thompson tires are, have pretty flexy walls, and um, well, once it's at seven, um, there's it's going to be pretty visible how much um, how much they are flexing. Uh, Jake is thinking of going down to 10 and Mitch will try 10 also and we'll see how that will do. Quick five minute effort and it's all clear, cleared up. Nicely done. The strength and uh, stupidity of the youth. Stupidity because one day all that is going to be <laughs> felt once they get to my age. What? All right, so this is the Mickey Thompson's with all my weight AR2 uh, 8 psi. This is the amount of flex. So, like I said, in my opinion, uh, I think the B of good riches that I used to run in the same size, 35 inch, uh, had a little stiffer sidewall. Well, we'll see how much you will flex on Jake's, which is quite a bit wider. He's planning to go to 10 PSI, and I don't think he's going to get much flex out of it. I might go to 7. Well, try 10 first. Okay. This is 10? Yeah. Well, there's a little, a little bit of flex, but... <clears throat> well, go ahead and go to 8. Mm -hmm. I'm at 8, just to... Actually, it's, it's not... Uh, Apple to Apple comparison, really. I'm a lot heavier. Mitch, how many uh, how many miles do you have on those tires? Uh, maybe a thousand. A thousand, maybe thousand five hundred. Right. So there was a Chinese tire c called Adventure MT. So far. Uh, I think both of us are pretty impressed with them in the sense that as cheap as they are they build pretty nice so this is BF Goodrich is at 8 uh, of course they are used so they stretched a little bit so there is definitely flex I don't I don't remember them flexing as much when I was uh, running it So far, so good. Mitch got it high centered, so Jake is going to pull him. I'm basically breaking the snow. Rolling pretty nicely. I would go farther and get back on the uh, hard snow. All right, I'm gonna come. Hold on, I'll, I'll, I'll have to uh, pull you because you're in pretty deep snow without lockers, you're not gonna get out. All right, keep trying. Go back. No, 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 don't accelerate, just, ooh, <laughs> just try it, yeah, exactly, rocket, rocket.
I'm, I'm gonna come and uh, pull you. The shackles are in the left drawer. So that's another acquisition. The energy rope or whatever you call them. Um, so far we tested a couple of times. Works very, very well. Seems to be like very good, nice quality. Now we gotta rescue you guys. Do you see how so close to going to slide down that? Right where I was at, it starts sliding. Okay, here's Mitch. High center. Now we gotta get him out. I'm completely on the frame. There's no wiggle in at anything. Right, because you... Spin. Really? It just sunk right in. I had no spin whatsoever. Huh. Well. That's close, Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the wrong movie, it should be like. <laughs> I don't know anything about Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, Mitch, get the old strap so we can rig up some kind of hookup point for Jake. Should have bolted my ball back on. Yeah, just like that. Okay, Jake, go slow, he's out. Go, go.
that up. <laughs> Well, Mitch is stuck. He got through all the hard stuff, and right here at the end, he got stuck. Yeah, but mine's easier to get out. It's so light. Let's unload everything and just lift it. Huh? I don't think you're going to get stuck, though. The girl just falls down in the middle. Nissan! Heck yeah! Get back to where you were here, and once you start sliding, stop and keep try to bump it right there. That's the best spot to come up.
go back. We found a little break from the snow and we're going to camp there. The funny thing is it's exactly the same place as last year. I was actually hoping uh, to make it a little bit farther, but uh, that didn't, did not happen. <laughs> it's a tough snow this year. On our side, uh, the west um, east of the Wind River, there's less snow, but on this side it's actually more snow. So, boys are breaking down camp. Mitch was working on the firewood. Jake is spotting a place for to put a tent. Max is working on a. Uh, fire pit what? everybody's hungry everybody's tired so I think everybody's looking forward to a little campfire burgers or whatever we got good times There's elk out here. The wind kind of, well, it's not even wind, a little breeze comes and goes. This tent is brand new. I actually want it on, on the rough, uh, in the raffle. We had a wild game dinner at the local church and uh, <laughs> I got that tent, this tent, so we're gonna test it out. It's a huge one, I think, 10 person. Eight person. Eight. Definitely wouldn't have to smell somebody's breath. All right, the tent is up. Fire is... Fire is burning. Ready for some chow. Are they all wet, Jake? Oh yeah. <laughs> I think you uh, switched to those snow boots a little bit too late, huh? No, those snow boots are what got me wet. But, but, yeah, it got a little wet, but those snow boots are even worse. They say waterproof right on the side of them. They're not waterproof. Oh, the... Um, that material top it, it seeps all the water in, huh? I guess so. 
I'm all dry. Yeah, you've got some. What brand are those snow boots? The same brand as the, the boots I just got. Really? Yeah. Man, That's a Chippewa. I think I'm, I'm actually considering getting another pair because this is insulated. Right well, now I, I'm, I'm kind of hot. The summit pair I got. Did you see? Did you see me wearing them today? Well, they're the same brand. Pretty much the same boot, just not insulated. Did you get wet? Eventually, but it, it was very late in the day when I finally did. <laughs> but I, I haven't conditioned <laughs> them yet. Knee deep. <laughs> hey Max, let me uh, let me see your boot. Those are sporting. Oh, with those uh, used to be my boots. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> the ones I used to. Wear. I bet <laughs> you all dry. <laughs> yeah, I fell in a couple times. Yeah, man, in, in places it was just, especially uh, <laughs> where he got when really Jake, buried all yeah. that water, I was just stepping into puddles. That's when I got wet. And I'm surprised that I, I didn't get any uh, inside of my boots because it was pretty deep. Snow, what about, what would you say, about three feet of snow? Whoa. Four? I stepped in a couple times and I went to here. So we three feet. Yeah, three, three and a half feet, and then there is at least a, a foot of water, maybe more, under it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, somebody fetched the cooler. Um, oh, it is. What do we have? I think my steaks and red peppers for dinner. Steaks what or burgers? Steaks. Really? I I brought the steaks from the cellar. Right on. Well then. Um, Let's wait for the coals and hopefully it's not gonna get too dark. Yeah? Um, that's what I'm using. I'm completely <laughs> dry. Not one bit of moisture. You know, if you put them in uh, snow boots, that would be a perfect combination right there. I tried, the snow boots were killing me. Oh, it's too, I, I put, too, too small? Yeah. Oh, okay. These, I took out the soles and it just fit right It in. fits? Oh, good. Yeah, those, uh, those socks are uh, uh, Gore-Tex. Mm -hmm. They're they supposed to well. let you, your feet breathe, but... Uh, well, it was a heck of a day. I, I enjoyed myself. It was... I'm tired, but... Um, I'm looking forward to already to next year. Well, actually, <laughs> we need to finish it tomorrow <laughs> without breakdown and uh, being buried like last time. Well, actually, the reason it took so long because we didn't we yeah, didn't uh, tug it right off the bed. We tried this to rope, winch. This rope has been amazing mm -hmm. this trip. I agree.